Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation, a homemade functional equation. Why? Because I made it up. And it's easy to make up these kinds of equations. Uh, I can show you how. But anyways, let's go ahead and solve this problem. So we have f of x over f of y equals x over y. And we're going to be solving this problem. The domain is all real numbers except for 0. Obviously, x or y cannot be 0 because x and y are kind of interchangeable. Uh, we can't have that at the denominator. So, we know that x or y cannot equal 0. Let's go ahead and set some values. Since uh, y cannot be 0 at this point, uh, we can probably set x equals 0 because x is in the numerator. That's just going to give us f of 0 equals 0, which is true, by the way. But anyways, let's go ahead and do the following. I want to solve this equation. How can I solve it, right? If it's defined for all real numbers except for 0. So for these kinds of equations, if possible, we set some certain values. For example, I can replace uh, y with 1. If 0 is not possible, maybe I can do the following. Or I can replace x with y, things like that. So... Let's go ahead and try it. For example, what happens if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, right? Or how about just try x equals 1? You get the following. f of 1 over f of y equals 1 over y. Hmm. That doesn't really help much. You know, I can't really proceed with this. Uh, how about trying y equals 1 only? x is free, by the way. So we're going to get something like this. f of x over f of 1 equals x over 1, which is x. Hmm. This makes more sense, right? So we could definitely use this. How? We can do the following. f of 1 is a constant, so we can set it equal to a constant, and then we can find f of x from here. Or we could do the following. We don't have to go with this. How about setting x equals y in general, right? Let's see what happens. You're going to get something similar. If x is equal to y, then I can just go ahead and replace y with x, maybe. Let's do it. That's going to give me x over f of x equals. Now, left-hand side is okay-ish, but how about the right-hand side? Something interesting happens on the right-hand side. Since x and y are not equal to 0, x, so x over y is just going to be 1 because x equals y. Wow, that's interesting. Wait, how is that possible? Well, f of variable equals 1. Yes, it's only possible either f is a constant function, which we can kind of test, or the expression inside the parentheses must be a constant, which is quite possible. So here's the first thought. This must be a constant. Let's set it equal to what? k. Okay. So from here we get the following, because if, if k is a constant, then f of k equals 1 is possible because it's f of constant, right? So we're going to get x over f of x equals a constant k. And from here, f of x is just going to be x over k. But I don't like that. I just want to turn uh, this into kind of like a more linear looking. How about uh, setting 1 over k equal to c? And hopefully you see what I see. And you're going to get f of x equals cx. So that seems to be a possible solution. We can always test it out. We can just, you know, plug it in, right, obviously. Uh, but anyways, that's a possible solution. Let's go ahead and sub it anyways. So f of x over f of y is supposed to equal x over y. Is that possible? Let's check it out. What is f of x over f of y? f of y is cy. f of x over cy by definition of f, it is c times the argument. And that is equal to, if c does not equal 0, of course, this is equal to x over y. So it kind of checks. So f of x equals cx works, and that is the only equation we can find from here, so that must be the only solution. So, or you can do the following. Let's take a look at it from another perspective, because there is more than one perspective here, obviously. So, let's go ahead and rewrite our equation. We have f of x over f of y equals x over y. Let's set x equal to f of y. Since x and y are free variables, I can pretty much set x anything I want, right? As long as uh, they're not zero. And from here, we get the following. If you replace x with f of y, uh, you're going to get f of f of y over f of y equals f of y over y. But f of y over f of y is 1 because they're not 0, hopefully. Then we get f of 1 equals f of y over y. And this gives us f of y equals f of 1 times y. Now we can go ahead and replace f of 1 with c because it's a constant. And we get the same thing from here, f of y equals cy. 
which means f of x equals cx. And that's going to be the only solution for this functional equation. Great. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.